This is the Thank You Ocean Report. Today we focus on the current drought in California. This drought is probably the most serious since water records were first kept in California. So in the last 150 or so years, this is the most serious. John Laird is the California Secretary for Natural Resources. He says the last serious drought in California was in 1975. And I asked him, what have we learned from that experience? One of the interesting things after the 1975 to 77 drought is a lot of people maintained their conservation ethic for the years after that. Once they had experienced what it meant, they got it. Since that time, Californians have gotten much more efficient in their water usage. For example, in Southern California, in the last 25 years or so, it has grown by between 4 and 5 million people on a lesser amount of state water. So they have handled their growth with efficiency. But because they have been more efficient, In a drought such as the current one, there is less of a margin to conserve. So people have conserved or have gotten more efficient, and it means that it's not quite as easy to take that 10 or 20 or 30 percent cut for conservation because they have been really efficient already. Add to that the perception among some that we can handle this year's drought and all we need is a reasonable amount of rain next year. But if we have one more year of drought, it is hard to contemplate how difficult that would be for certain places in the state. It will just be at a basic health and safety level of water for people to be like lifeline levels. And so I think just that is the issue that I'm not sure is being talked about. And what should we be doing at this moment? Everybody right now needs to cut 20% from their usage. And the reason it's voluntary at first is to allow everybody in every jurisdiction to figure it out for themselves because with thousands of water agencies in California, it is hard to have a cookie-cutter approach. This is a very interesting point. 70% of the average residential water use in California is outside the home. 30% is inside. And so it is the obvious litany. Shorter showers, if you're going to wash dishes or clothes, make sure it is full loads. Try to ration out water for whatever it is your different uses are. It's pretty hard to imagine circumstances if this continues that lawns can be kept alive. There's just not the water for that. Some immediate steps you can take for outdoor water usage include adjusting lawn sprinklers so only the lawn is watered, water deeply but less frequently, or replant your lawn with drought-resistant trees and plants. Many Californians aren't aware that the state is asking everyone to implement the 20% voluntary water reduction measures. Secretary Laird says that if there is no improvement, it could go higher. It really comes down to considering what is important in terms of our water use and what is not important. And this isn't about a few big businesses cutting back a bit. And that's why there are tough choices. You look at some businesses, if you are in the visitor serving industry along the coast or in greater Los Angeles or the San Francisco Bay Area, the water usage in a motel almost entirely is around showers. Well, yeah, people can take shorter showers, but that is the only margin they have to cut back. If you're in a restaurant, you cannot offer water unless people ask for it at a table. But there's a significant amount of water use in just the simple act of cooking and preparing food and cleaning dishes. And it's not like that goes down dramatically. And so it is an issue almost everywhere almost with every business and almost with every home. And while there are technical changes we can make to use water more efficiently, the secretary says we need to change behavior as well. And he says that past experience may provide some hope. Well, in many ways, the way people change their behavior is to have to face the reality of the shortage. With water conservation, the reality is now, and I think people can get it now. And my thanks to California Secretary for Natural Resources, John Laird. Now for your Thank You Ocean Everyday Action. Think about how you can cut your water consumption by 20% every day. And for a complete list of tips, we'd like you to visit saveourh2o.org. I'm Jerry Kay.